here we are painting some boards i've already painted the other sides of these boards haven't flipped this one over yet these are going to be the boards that'll be the replacement frames for the garage i've got the garage over here that frames need to be replaced i'm going to replace that frame that frame and this one here and you can't tell there but if you look down there it's all rotten well, i'm going to remove those and replace those with the boards that are on the frames right now being painted for the saw horses so all right quick update uh yesterday i painted both sides of my two by eights and uh, one side of my smaller slats that will go on the garage here. This is the garage project. Had to move everything inside because it's been humid and rainy here. Bit of a mess in the garage. I've got several projects going on. Apologize for that. But gonna paint this and then I'm gonna take one of the, the frames off and see how that goes today, hopefully. Uh, paint these up on this side. Let those dry out and then maybe take one of these boards cut it down to size and install it signing off for now quick update here so I had a piece of wood here took it down it's over here I've removed the nails so that I don't stab my myself with it and I've peeled the caulk off with one of these and uh, I'll be cleaning this up a little more and then uh, this is what it looked like prior to me removing that. As you can see down there, there's a lot of rot. And down here, there's a lot of rot, which enabled me to get the, the crowbar in there to very slowly pry that big piece of wood out of there. It was in there pretty tight at the top, but was able to get it out without cracking the, the brick and not using the brick as leverage which I figure will be very fragile. So, I'm gonna clean this up and then size this and try to install the next piece of wood. All right, first board is in. We're a little snug, I had to sand off the end a little bit after I sanded it and cut it. I put a little paint on there and just uh, drilled a couple very small pilot holes for each of these nails. And now I have nailed it to the frame. Next, I'm gonna measure this length and then find the little piece that goes here to run along down here. I don't know what you call that piece, but a little piece of wood there. That's next. All right. One, one piece of the frame down, three to go. Get that last little piece in there. Use some very small nails, set them in place. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, do some touch-up paint. Before I do that, I'm going to do some caulking. Get some caulk into this cracks here to seal off any water, bugs that can get in there. And then caulk along here. And then uh, do another coat of paint. Maybe a clean up and a quick paint job. And that should be it for this. But we'll do that at the end after we've finished all these other doors. Um, this one's next. It's all messed up down there. Take this out. Do the same thing. Maybe cut a little shorter so I don't have to sand as much. And uh, on to the next one. Okay, day two. As you know, I did this on day one. This was the first frame. And then on day two, I took out the old frame and now have replaced it with a new one. And this time I used an air compressor and a nail gun which seems a lot better. Might have to set it a little bit stronger so that the nails get set a little better. But this was much quicker from what I learned on the frame from yesterday. So two more to go. Obviously this one and this one. Have to take that box off. I'll strip out the bottom here, break it out and then do the same here. So maybe another day or two. Okay, here we are, day three. Got a late start. I was asked to help out with something early this morning, so I took care of that, and it's afternoon today. 
and I'm working on the third frame just showing what this looks like just as I'm starting to take things out um, you can see the wooden frame in there very narrow one layer piece of brick that's in there a lot of long nails in there you can see my air compressor back there got the uh, nail gun set up to make this a little easier so finish taking this off trim off any extra nails and whatever clean this up down here uh, do a quick measure and cut my next board which is waiting to be cut over there quite a mess in here right now okay quick update uh, this board has been replaced with a new one it's looking pretty shabby I was having problems with my nail gun um, and I found some spots where I don't know something was behind the wood here and was bending the nail so had to work around that and I'll fill all this in with caulk that's three of four the fourth one is over here I'll try to get started on that today and if I can maybe finish tonight but uh, a lot of things going on tonight that might delay me from that so I got to get this piece out crack that cut along the caulk line here and then pull this down and a right, quick update here got the fourth piece off this is looking inside of that section there a lot of spiderweb remnants bugs carpenter mistakes uh, nail holes I'll clean up this caulk here measure it up clean off down here make sure it measures properly Cut the board and move forward, get this thing done. Got a little problem here. As you can see, we've got a warped board. This was the board that was gonna go in the garage. So I've got it out in the sun here. It's probably too late now that I've got paint on it. It's pretty flat here, but if you look at it here, it's twisted. And I think it's too much of a twist to really try to get it to come back to put it into the garage door over there so I might have to buy another one if the sun doesn't warp it back signing off for now All right. quick update so yesterday I uh, finished up the caulking actually I finished the last board here's the second one and then this is the third one third one and the fourth one interestingly and obviously and as you do this you get better and better at it this one went in much quicker than than this one and by far quicker than the first one and you can see first one has a lot more nail holes a lot more mistakes but I did a, all the caulking yesterday and I was hoping to do some painting today but uh, it's looking pretty cloudy and they're forecasting rain this afternoon a lot of rain tomorrow and uh, so I'm thinking probably not a good thing plus I've got to do some some volunteer work this morning and I think by the time I get home it'll be too wet so signing off for now uh, hopefully we'll get a paint job here and show a quick update on the final product so here we are last day of the garage frame replacement so Finally had a clear day today and had a chance to paint up, put the last coat of paint on my frames that were replaced. Everything looks pretty good. I was even able to get paint on the caulking there. I uh, used a little straight edge that I had in my paint supplies. Um, there's about a thousand things I do differently now that I've done this once, but I won't be doing it again for a while, hopefully. Um, but maybe I can pass some of those things I've learned on to other projects. Looks pretty good. It's September 25th. Signing off on the garage frame replacement.